So I bought this a uh, kiridashi knife, carving Japanese carving knife or veneer, what have you. Anyway, this I bought a couple of months ago, and it's absolutely became one of my favorite tools in the shop. And it, it's quite strange, isn't it, that just a simple knife can transform so much of my work, as opposed to this. This is a kirshen, also carving knife. I guess it's supposed to do similar things. I suppose uh, they cost about the same and. It is absolutely not as nice but yeah one thing that I had noticed is that I accidentally bought a left hand knife but nevertheless I still love this knife very much especially for carving I can do like you know push cuts and things like that but for marking it's not that ideal since I hold it on the right hand and uh, the reference is on the wrong side and whatever so this project I want to make my own one and I bought a really nice piece of steel for that have a look at this deliciousness isn't that the prettiest candy bar you've ever seen so this beautiful steel right here came all the way from Japan, even though I ordered it from Germany. It is three layers with like soft steel uh, sandwiching a white paper steel in the middle. So that actually means that I cannot do a single bevel kiridashi from this, but I will do a double bevel. Yes, actually that's not a, be a good idea, I'm hardening the surface which is gonna make my life that much harder. So this project was really inspired by a bamboo shaped kiridashi that I've seen online and, and I thought I would want to do something in the spirit of that but still more fitting to my area where I live and I don't have much bamboo lying around so I thought I would go for more of a I don't know, an oak tree perhaps, but, but something more, let's say, a European looking tree. So far, uh, I like how it looks, but I want to add some more grit and texture to the blade. And for that, I will have to make some sort of punch or tool that will, uh, yeah, help do that, I suppose.
So here we are outside with my uh, professional forge. I, I'm not so sure it worked. I don't think I had enough heat. Actually, I think we have a success. Yes. Yes. It's cool. You can also already see the two layers. That's pretty awesome. Yes. Okay, finger tapping machine. Set timer, one hour. Okay, one hour. Starting now. some polishing paste I know it's not very Japanese to use a strop, but yeah, that's, that's the best I can do. Uh, I made a few changes. Uh, it was a little bit too smooth for me, so I don't know if you can tell, but I kind of like bulbed it up a little bit. Anyway, let's test it out. Okay, I'm, I'm uh, super pleased with how this knife turned out. I spent so much time looking at this and trying to figure out if I can make it look nicer and cooler, but I think it's, at this point I'm completely unobjective and I need to stop and let it be its own thing. So let me know if you like it and if it uh, uh, looks good to your eyes. So yeah, I'm gonna put it in its resting place until I use it again. So I hope you enjoy this and I will uh, see you in the next video.